This video is about fasting and I am going to tell you how it provides protection from viral infection through rejuvenating your immune system. Fasting is ordained in every religion. In Islam, fasting is refraining from consumption of anything including eating, drinking and smoking. The timings are from Sahur, that's before sunrise, until Aftar, which is after sunset. And it is done during the holy month of Ramadan. American and Italian studies confirm that fasting regenerate immune cells. Here I will share with you the titles of two studies that confirm this fact. First one is Regulate Hematopoietic Stem Cell Protection, Self-Renewal and Regeneration. The second one is Prolonged Fasting or Refeeding Promotes Hematopoietic Stem Cell Regeneration and Rejuvenation. The data regarding the benefits of fasting has been approved by Harvard School of Public Health, Boston, USA. The scientific paper confirms that prolonged fasting as a medical intervention to decrease IGF-1 or PKA signaling and protect hematopoietic stem cells against chemotherapeutic toxicity and promote rejuvenation. The title of this paper was Saying No to Drugs, Fasting Protects Hematopoietic Stem Cells from Chemotherapy and Aging. The benefits of fasting have been proved by many scientific studies mentioning that fasting strengthens immune function, improves renal function, increases longevity and antioxidative effects. A study from Dubai Health Authority UAE and Seba University Libya shows that few fasting individuals show adverse effects like anemia, constipation, dehydration, decreased sleep quality headache and heartburn. The same study also suggests that during Ramadan, fasting individuals are advised to adhere to a balanced diet that contains sufficient portions of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, pulses, meat, fish, milk and dairy products. Moreover, fasting individuals must drink adequate fluids such as water, fresh fruit juices, and soups in order to prevent the possible adverse health effects associated with Islamic fasting. American Society for Nutrition challenges Muslim experts in nutrition with these words. Clinical research studies of fasting with robust designs and high levels of clinical evidence are sparse in the literature. Whereas the few randomized controlled trials and observational clinical outcomes studies support the existence of a health benefit from fasting, substantial further research in humans is needed before the use of fasting as a health intervention can be recommended.